The Obama administration says it wants to end discrimination against transgender people throughout the health care system. The rule announced today clarifies the anti-discrimination section of President Barack Obama's health care law. The Department of Health and Human Services issued the proposal today under the Affordable Care Act. For the first time, it bars bias based on gender identity. Discrimination coupled with a lack of insurance coverage just compounds the health disparities that transgender people face on a daily basis. 70% of transgender people report being discriminated against in healthcare by a healthcare provider. And a third of transgender folks actually say that they were flat out denied care when they went to seek health care. And so what Section 1557 does is it makes that illegal. And healthcare providers can no longer turn away people based on who they are, um, based on their identity. An online search makes it quickly apparent that doctors who specialize in complicated transgender procedures are few and far between. Until last year, those who wanted surgery had to pay out of pocket. But changes to Medicare and the Affordable Care Act now allow for some insurance coverage of these procedures. Once we have more insurance coverage of transition-related health care and more certification of providers, we'll see a greater level of standardization across the industry. It'll be a lot safer for transgender people. The Affordable Care Act allows states to expand their Medicaid programs to cover low-income people. According to some surveys, 35% of transgender people living below the poverty line don't have health insurance. So the ACA is going to be a fundamental tool to close this health disparity gap. The most important thing to remember around Section 1557 and these expansions and non-discrimination provisions is that they won't work unless they're used. If you feel like you've experienced discrimination by a healthcare provider because you are transgender or gender non-conforming, you can contact the Department of Health and Human Services Office for Civil Rights and file a complaint. These new guidelines will make a real difference in how medical care is provided to transgender people across this country.